poisons. Okay. We are left with Datura and then cannabis, Nax vomica, aconite, yellow oleander, Aroche. So in today's class, I will try to finish uh, Datura and uh, cannabis. Okay. In next class, maybe aconite root, yellow oleander and Nax vomica will be taken. So the vegetable poisons will be over. Then we will be left with uh, mainly the corrosives. Okay. Acids, sulfuric acid, agulo, nitric acid, corrosives. Tale Mota Moti at Duti in the class of the Sheshwe. Two to three classes. Poisons. Alright. Let's start. So, as you can see, what is this? This is a fruit. Alright. Datura fruit, also known as Jimson wheat or thorn apple. Okay. Fine. So, you can find it normally in, in normal vegetations. Very readily available and it can be easily found everywhere. Right? Pujoteo Bavarai. So, what should we know about it? So, first you will write the identification. Identification A, you have to describe it. So, descri description would be it is ashy green, ashy grey or green, spherical shaped, okay, and have spinous projection in its surface. Eva will leak the away. One has to write like that. And then you have to write the botanical name. Botanical name will be Datura fastiosa. So, the question would be which part of the Datura plant is poisonous? So, all of the plant is poisonous, but the seeds and the fruit are most poisonous, even mostly dangerous and can cause death if ingested in sufficient quantity. Fine. So, total number of seeds in the fruits are about 500. Fine. Next comes position in classification. In position, you should write it is a cerebral delirium poison. Okay, it will leak the away. Examiner will ask in which part of the classification does it fall. So, next is the fatal dose. Fatal dose is about 100 to 125 seeds. That is about 1 to 2 gram. Okay. And it can be called as also as a stupefying poison. Mane, if ingested, it can cause, it can cause the subject to be stupefied. Okay. So, also known as stupefying dose that will be about half of it. That is about 50 to 60 seeds. Fine. Fatal period is within 24 hours in on average. And the toxic principle will be hyoscine, scopolamine and then hyoscyamine and traces of atropine. Fine. Mode of action. Mode of action you can write. If they ask, you can write. If not, then also it's okay. But one should know that it has both peripheral and central effects in low doses. In low doses, it causes euphoria and acts as a stimulant. Okay. It has sympathomimetic and parasympatholytic activity in low doses. Even in moderate doses, it causes somnolence and deep sleep. Gum gum pave or gumiye jave manus. In larger dose, it is causes delirium, depression and even loss of consciousness or coma. Okay. So, initially there will be stimulation and then later on it will progress to depression. That is the mechanism of action. Then comes medical legal aspects. Medical legal aspects as usual, it, it, it was previously used by Hakims and Vaidyas for treating of arthritis and all and then uh, uh, reduce pain and all that is arthritis treatment and if it was if it gets in, uh, inoculated inside mane kono abraded skin thaklo ote jodi jodi mane poison type breach kore jay tahole it can cause poisoning so 
how where it can be used t shaped treatment uh, as a mode of treatment it is it was used earlier like as a midriatic okay it dilates pupils because atropine also dilates pupils right so datura d for d and d for dilation okay so the examiner will ask what will be the condition of the pupils so you should say that it will be dilated in datura poisoning fine d d for datura d for dilation okay dilated pupils then it can be used uh, it was previously used as an anti spasmodic and also as an antidote for organophosphates and carbamates due to its sympathotomimetic and parasympatholytic activity but nowadays it is not used we have a definite antidote for that and it was previously used as an pre anesthetic agent because it used to cause dryness of mouth secretions will be reduced so for that purpose it was previously used fine and in criminal use homicidal it is rare but it is possible there is a famous case that happened in england that was the crippen case in which the uh, doctor had uh, poisoned her wife with scopolamine so as the active ingredient here is eosamine and scopolamine and uh, so this can also be used for homicide but the doses will be much larger as we have seen that is about 100 to 120 seeds were needed so aksho thik aksho kuita seed you have to crush it and then you have to uh, give to the subject means it is uh, uh, very well it can be get one one can get caught okay so suicidal it's rare comparatively because of the quantity of the seeds needed accidental may be if children ingest it as usual as for other poisons also okay abortifacient yes it can cause a foreign body reaction if inserted to this endocervical canal with the help of any stick so it can cause abortion okay aphrodisiac may be stupefaction yes it is also known as road poison so the criminals or robbers may uh, crush the seeds and uh, what do you call mix it with tea or coffee and then may offer the subject who is traveling in train or uh, bus so uh, in a good gesture one may consume it and later on they get robbed because they lose their consciousness or they may get stupefied fine also known as road poison so examiner might ask you what is also known as road poison so you should tell it is datura all right so here you can see these seeds datura seeds we have this seeds here and we can show it and in exam also it can uh, it can be given for spotting fine datura seeds so datura seeds are similar looking like chili seeds so there will be a question how to identify chili seeds from datura seeds okay so identification of datura seeds it is yellowish brown seeds more or less kidney shaped large and thick in size fine yellowish brown seeds more or less kidney shaped large and thick in size okay chili seeds will be small in size okay but it will be similar circular hoy chili seeds so we are left with chili seeds that also will be taught later on it is the normally chili seeds fall under irritant poison okay so if datura seeds is given only datura seeds so you have to write all the facts as i told you about the datura fruit only the identification part will change toxic principle botanical name uh, mode of action if you can all will be that of a datura okay baki ta shobi likhte hobe khali identification er oi je part ta oi ta change hobe fine baki same if datura seeds are given to you boja gelo ki bojate mane what i mean what i mean or ki now comes the signs and symptoms signs and symptoms are for both of them 
Datura seeds or the Datura fruit. So, see here, all the Ds. So, the examiner's favorite question is, tell the signs and symptoms of Datura poisoning. That is the means most important part of this toxicology chapter. So, examiner's favorite is Datura and they will ask you about the signs and symptoms. So, in signs and symptoms, you have to tell all these Ds. D for dryness of mouth, D for uh, uh, difficulty in talking, dysphagia, dilation of cutaneous vessels, dilation of pupils, dry hot skin, dysuria, drunken gait, delirium, drowsiness and coma. So, we will learn it like this. Okay. It is like a mnemonic. Hot like hair. Hot like hair, the temperature rises at about 107 degree Fahrenheit. Then red like wheat. So, there is cutaneous vasodilation. So, the uh, subject will appear reddish. There will be flushing of face followed by dilation of cutaneous vessels. reddish Red as wheat. Hot as hair, red as wheat. Blind like bat. Blind like bat means dilation of pupils and there will be congestion of uh, congestion uh, congestion uh, redness of conjunctiva okay that is congestion so conjunctiva will be suffuse suffuse means redness there will be photophobia diplopia loss of accommodation of near vision temporary blindness drowsiness even mad like hand Mad like hand mane ekane delirium hove. So the uh, delirium is jaja symptoms so on shegulo dekhte pao And there is dry like bone. So the secretions all will be less or inhibited. So mouth and throat will be dry. There will be intense thirst, nausea, vomiting, hotepare, dysphagia, dysuria, retention of urine, egulo hove, tachycardia, and death may occur due to cardiac arrhythmia or coma. Respiratory failure. <coughs> okay. So, how to treat? So, treatment is easy. First, you give stomach wash with potassium permanganate solution and emetics may can be used. Strong tea or coffee can be given. Bowel wash or purgatives can be used. Specific antidote. It a main. So, you should mention all these three names. Prostigmine, physostigmine and Pilocarpine nitrate. You have to mention these three names. Examiner, if asked for any specific antidote, you mention these three names. Pisostigmine, pilocarpine nitrate and prostigmine. And others are like symptomatic treatment. If it is hot, you have to uh, means cold sponging. Jodi seizure hoy ta hole eta ki bole anti seizures the medications dite hote pare then uh, tranquilizers in shop barbiturates lorazepam diazepam eglo da hoy fine that completes the datura now coming to the next one okay cannabis fine siddhi bhang or hemp also known as so, identification for Siddhi, it will be dried leaves with small stalks and fruit shoots of cannabis plant. Dried leaves with small stalks and fruit shoots of cannabis plant. That you should write. Okay. Then comes. So, dried. How do they dry it? So, they cut the branch. And they ulto chulie da hoy and at about 70 degree Fahrenheit in a uh, at the temperature of 70 degree Fahrenheit it is dried without the exposure of sunlight. Sunlight is not available. So, you have to prepare for a hoy. So, botanical name it will be cannabis indica or cannabis sativa. Okay. Position in classification is celeb. Uh, Cerebral delirium. Fatal dose is very large. That is about 10 gram per kg of body weight. Okay. 
and fatal dose of delta 9 thc thc is tetrahydrocannabinol so if there is concentrated ingredient ta thake sheita ke diye jodi poisoning kora hoy then it will be about 1 to 2 mg if you given iv okay so in average it is about 30 mg per kg 90 mg of the extract can be used for poisoning fatal period is unknown okay so normally people don't die from it so toxic principle so it is important you should know the names toxic principle e ki ki ache cannabinol cannabidiol and tetrahydrocannabinol that is 9 thc and some other tetrahydrocannabinol isomers so the examiner will ask you about the toxic principle ei naam gulo bolte hobe cannabinol cannabidiol and 9 THC जैसे tetrahydrocannabinol that is the important one 9 THC ठीक आचे the most important of that is the 9 THC that is tetrahydrocannabinol वो इटा जानो मुख दिया भी रोई examination हुआ okay examiner wants to hear that so previously जेटा leave जेटा हमरे सिद्धि ते देख लाम माने it is 15 percent okay जो तो जो तो हमरा অন্য প্রোডাক্টে যাব ক্যানাবিসের দি কনসেন্ট্রেশন উইল ইনক্রিজ সো দিস ইজ দি লিস্ট মিনিমাম দ্যাট ইজ 15% ওকে সবথেকে কম परसेंट আছে এই টক্সিক প্রিন্সিপাল মানে টেট্রাহাইড্রোক্যানাবিনল প্লিজ কিপ কোয়াইট সাইলেন্স প্লিজ অল রাইট সো দি মেডিকেল লিগাল অ্যাসপেক্টস ইট ইজ অ্যান ইনটক্সিক্যান্ট ফার্স্ট অফ অল এন্ড ইট ইজ suicidal cases as a rare homicidal rare accidental common may be because it causes it is used in travel destinations okay if you go to shimla if you go to kashmir and all there they uh, take it as a uh, what do you call uh, for entertainment purpose this is used okay bhang use kara hoy himachal pradesh shimla oi dikhe e gulo byabohar hoy so those who are not those who do not know how much to take they may accidentally consume more and they may get affected death is reportedly very less but still if uh, the fatal dose ir kasha kachi keu jodi ingest kore thake then it may cause death so accidental may be but normally homicidal it is not used to facilitate robbery yes it can because it can stupefy aphrodisiac properties may be okay so normally it is banned everywhere kaaja gach dekhle government ese kete debe thik ache gach ta kete debe so normally it is banned in india all over but still it is found in travel destination places je gulo bollam shimla kashmir e sob jaye paoa jay so it has some good medicinal properties so in first of all the us and the western country countries banned it okay india te ekta use hoto ekono use hoy all those agoris sadhus still they smoke this okay so the western countries banned that worldwide for its abuse so later on india also had to ban it okay psychotropic drugs are in mode pore so it has been banned but now the us and all the canada these people the australia these people have now uh, using this for medicinal purposes okay so they are trying to lift off the ban they banned it and now they are lifting off the ban so it has some good medicinal properties what are those it is a good good anti emetic and it is a good anti emetic agent and it it is a good antidepressant agent for those properties it is being used as an it is used in patients with those who are having uh, those who are taking chemotherapeutic drugs so chemotherapeutic drugs nile ki hoy it has an what do you call it has an adverse effects so how to counter all those adverse effects uh, this products এর যে ইনগ্রেডিয়েন্ট আছে সেগুলোকে ইউজ করা হয় ফর ট্রিটিং দোজ পেশেন্টস 
for countering at the adverse effects. So you can uh, see the names over there like dro Dronabinol, Nabinol and Sativex. So this all contains 9-THC that is the active ingredient toxic uh, ingredient that is being used. Okay. So they are giving it in a tablet form. Okay. Earlier our people used to use as an inhalation form. Okay. Boyagalo, medicinal properties. So this is ganja. Okay. So difference is there between ganja and siddhi. So ganja, what is it? These are flowering tops. Okay. These are flowering tops with very little leaves of the female cannabis plant. Okay, these are flowering tops. These have more THC in it. The toxic principle is Alright. So, this is about 15 to 25 concentration. Okay. Earlier, Siddhi was 15%. So, it is more, it has more THC in it. 15 to 25 percent. Okay. So, so the fatal dose is lesser. In Siddhi it was 8, it was 10. It was 10 gram per kg in Siddhi. Here it is 8. Okay. 8, 8, 8 gram per kg of body weight. So, other things are same. Other things are same. Now coming to charas. What is this charas? So, you have to write the identification. It is dark green or brownish lump having a little sweetish smell. Okay. Botanical name same as Siddhi and all. Everything will be same. Fatal dose here will be more. Fatal dose, it will be more fatal. It is about 2 gram per kg of body weight. Okay, fatal period, toxic principle are same, but the concentration is more here 20 to 40. Okay, 20 to 40. Medical legal aspects are also same. So, how charas is made? Charas ki gore toiri gore. So, I will show you a short video how charas is made wait okay you can see in the uh, youtube also there, there, there it will be there how they make normally how they make is charas and hashish they have a difference charas is made from live plants and hashish is made from dry, dried plants or not live plants okay so what they do is they take the leaves and rub it with their hand. Okay. So, while rubbing with their hands, there will be extract of the leaves on their hand. Okay. So, puro hate oi extract a leg greenish color. So, after that, what they do is they take a clean sheet of paper or any plastic material and again they rub their hands without these leaves. So, all those extract will fall on the paper. Okay. So, that will be blackish in color. Then they uh, take that residue or that uh, uh, means material that is left over on the paper and they put it in a plastic bag and mold it. So, it will appear like this. Okay. So, this thing you can see in the video in YouTube everywhere you will get it. Okay. Alright. So, coming to the signs and symptoms. So, signs and symptoms, what it will be there? First, it will initially stimulate the central nervous system and then later it will lead to narcosis. Okay. So, signs and symptoms appear soon or within 15 minutes. And, kiki signs and symptoms thake? It causes intense thirst, dryness of mouth or tongue. Okay. Excessive men consumption, it can lead to severe mental disorientation, physical and moral degradation, 
बट इज नॉर्मली नॉन फेटल ओके साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स से नॉर्मली देर विल बी फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ यूफोरिया एंड लेटर ऑन इट मे लीड टू माने बेसी डोज हो गए इट कैन लीड टू डिप्रेशन एंड ऑल ओके फर्स्ट देर विल बी यूफोरिया so in small doses in small doses it will be pressurable in moderate doses there will be impaired memory disturbed thought processes and all and in high doses it causes depersonalization and sensory distortion fine ek kichu kichu points likhta hobe so what are the stages first there will be a stage of excitement and then there will be stage of narcosis stage of excitement is ye ek jinis likhta hai euphoria hai physical of uh, physical and mental well being person will get talkative argumentative all those and there could be hallucinations that there could be visual auditory or tactile hallucination and in say, a stage of narcosis their reflexes will be low एटेक्सिया होते पारे, गेटिनेस होते पारे, ड्राउसिनेस होते पारे, ओके, एंड डेथ में आकर ड्यू तू रेस्पिरेटरी फेलियर, फाइन, एंड दिस इज़ फॉर क्रोनिक पॉइजनिंग, क्रोनिक पॉइजनिंग है क्योंकि मेंशन होते पार में ए मेटो ए मोटिवेशनल सिंड्रोम एंड एक्यूट साइकोसिस, ओके, एंड अदर थिंग्स बिकॉज़ � they normally consume it with other things like smoking with nicotine or with alcohol and other things so there might be so chronic lung disease and lung carcinoma can be caused if in chronically ingested or chronically smoke oral and laryngeal carcinoma aspergillus osseous because these are normally contaminated eta to are pharmaceutical industry toiri kore na eta locally made so there can be spores of aspergillus and which can cause diseases and okay boja gelo so all these things you have to write if this uh, comes in your exam so that ends our class today okay in next class we will take on aconite root yellow oleander and uh, uh, what else other and we'll finish up the vegetable poisons